four. So not really anything to write home about here. Let's uh, let's hold out on the predictions and let's hold out on saying who's going to do really well and what have before we even get into it. It is Zywe with your favorite weapons, my guy. Oh, the Julies. Perfect place to use as well, up on top of the hook. Is he going to be at... No, oh, damn it. <laughs> it's all gone crashing down. I really, really hope they'd be able to uh, to find something there, but unfortunately, nothing picked off with those dual bretters. The ace site defense has crumbled instantly. Apex has found one, though. 2v4? Unlikely. But it's possible. And you may as well give it a go. However, Apex going down with suits and now left alone, and there's just paper cuts for days until finally he, uh, he receives a Glock bullet through the cranium. Yeah, the heads, they roll. They roll nicely as well. Team Spirit getting a much-needed first pistol round. That's going to really help them. Something they were not able to come by, really, on Mirage was early rounds. And that's the one thing they desperately needed to try and get a hold of. They were so starved so early on in that game. They needed something. Something pleasant. Mm. Unfortunately, they didn't get it. But maybe this time, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new life. And are you feeling good? Oh, always. Got <laughs> to get in there with it. Uh, yeah, for sure. Eagles, five seven for Apex though. Another one of those uh, pistols I really do rate. I think it's underused. I do think, that, however, that the Deagles are better, even with yeah, the yeah, dollar of extras. I still think the Deagles in a round like this are are a stronger weapon, but the five seven has. A big place still, I think, and five seven like is should get used more. Five seven is absurdly slept on, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think it could be a really good weapon if people just start to adopt it more. But like a lot of things in Counter Strike, it's like not necessarily meta based or like what's actually good. It's about what people are comfortable with because comfort in CS is what wins your games. If you can execute the fundamentals well, then you'll be doing very very well by yourself. Looking already into this round we've exchanged fire once again it's chopper for shocks the four versus four subsequently ensues zaiwu ready and waiting with an eagle but quickly relieved of his head as magix just makes it roll misuta now being hounded down the bottom of decon stairs he had assistance from apex who was then recently dispatched with but oh. misuta has leveled up again finding three with the eagle absolutely nailing Team Spirit down to the floor. It is just SDY to try and clutch one versus two. Bomb is in the possession of Team Vitality. How does he get his way out of this one? Well, a first shot onto Kyojin is certainly a nice way to go, but the second for Masuta is just a bridge too far. That is a 4K in the round from Masuta, the young Frenchman making his presence felt early on. A great rebuttal from the French side. Those Deagles putting up huge numbers. Masuta, great work from him. We'll see if he's able to continue with that sort of uh, firepower. Team Spirit already taking a timeout, though. You have to after a round like that. You, you lose out against the Pistols. And uh, what, what, what initially seemed like a, a good, strong start, getting that pistol round, there was, it was a clean entry. It's just quickly faded away. Vitality now the ones with that front foot and on the CT side of Nuke. They won out the knife round as well, just to just to clarify. They won out the knife round, so they got to choose the CT side. They are on that generally more favoured side of Nuke. So they'll be looking to really roll with this early start, build up a bit of an economy, and just use the utility to great effect to lock off angles early on in these rounds and force Team Spirit into, into difficult pressure situations. You know what I'm seeing here, Baldy? <laughs> I'm seeing an XM, my guy. Oh, yeah? And I'm loving it. I'm like... I do love... Because I'm loving it. This is uh, one of my favourites. And it's... A... Oh, interestingly, they're not playing the uh, the shock of where I'd anticipate for it to be. I'd expect it to be right where Kyojin is right now. But instead, Shox is playing a different angle with it. Up close and personal inside of the hut. I'm a quite a big fan of this. It's ballsy. It's gallsy. It's out there. But it's just the exact kind of thing that you expect Shocks to be able to pull off. Waiting. He and Mir are tantalizingly close to one another, but who will be the one to think first? It will be Mir, but it will be Mir also to find the frag. Shocks missing. The XM doesn't come to pass. In vitality. Down a man early on. Are we just going to see a, a war of force spies there, George? Or 
and Vitality actually uh, win this one out, please. Just just for a bit of stability, a bit of normalcy in life. As much as I love a good force buy back and forth, it can get a bit too much for any sane man. However, that Tech 9 kill from Chopper doesn't look too good for my sanity. Maybe they can recover this one, but a 4 on 2. Damage being done. It's only Apex remaining. And as much as he can try, those Tech 9s just tap away. And Team Spirit right back in there. Those, I just don't know what to say anymore. That shotgun definitely should have gotten the kill towards Hut. Those rifles definitely should have found the kills at range against the Tech 9s. But... It is what it is, and now Team Vitality letting that chance slip away from them. Well, once again, back into it, Dan, though. It's force by time. The difficulty is that with every round that you keep on force buying, the T side is always going to be just that little bit stronger than the CT side. The CT side doesn't quite have that same cheapness to it. The AKs cost about, what, $400 less than the M4 does. You can see how easy that is now for them to just negotiate the map with this superior, far superior firepower and equipment that they're sporting into this round. Misuta, deagled up, just trying to play in towards lockers, but um, again, nothing's going to present itself. Team Spirit are going to try and lock it down as best they can, but again, there's actually a slight problem. That problem is, some Dayong is gone, and Shocks is on a flank. It's a long, long flank. It's going to take some time to get moving. Mir is currently looking for it, so Shox is just going to pump the brakes for a second and make them think that maybe he's not coming. Maybe he's gone back to his teammates. Who knows? Maybe, 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 maybe. Shox here is the key man. He is so important in this round. He's even collected an AK. If he doesn't see anybody outside, it's pretty safe to assume they've gone down secret and therefore your teammates can make the appropriate accommodations towards this play. Move in. Chopper, Nobody's ready to try and clear angles. What are, you, what are you talking about, my bro? Vitality have, have barely moved. They now have somebody over towards the ramp. That's Masuta, but it's taken so long for them to do anything. But actually, the backstab from Shops could be everything here. As you mentioned, he just needs to get the right time onto Dexter, and he will collect the first. That's now the man advantage for Vitality. Can they convert the round and continue this force by war? There's not... If uh, Mir can say anything about this, but oh, Shox no. is still fragging out. He's caught them from behind. Now we'll look to Kyojin as Mir and Magix do their best, and it's just enough. Denies Vitality the force back and keeps Team Spirit in the lead, but that had a lot of potential. I'm surprised Vitality didn't send players down earlier. I think they were cautious about maybe getting caught on the uh, rotate through vents. But uh, definitely could have maybe shifted some weight over towards that B site with all the intel shocks was gathering early on. I think he maybe wanted to make sure that nothing was coming heaven. I don't know. He gave it a good crack. Either way, Vitality just, moral of the story is, needed to get their skates on a little bit sooner. Now, I think they're gonna, I love I love strategies like this. Just stack outside, boys. Let's see what happens. We're on top of each other's heads four times in a row. And we still won't spot Mir on the way down to secret. So A site, little do they know, of course, completely open for Team Spirit to have a field day in. I don't really know if this is going to work out for Kyojin and the rest of the gang. They are still stacked up. They're playing patiently. I mean, worst case scenario is, right, you lose the site and you just go and save. What's the worst thing about that? You're not going to give $300 over to Team Spirit on every single frag they find, or even $600 over onto those Mac 10s that are still loitering about everywhere. Mira has now cleared everything down as far as the B site, and he's going to make his way back up the ramp to see if he can figure out what's going on with these pesky CTs. This is seems weird. Like, I don't like seems it. Seems like soon he might actually find himself in some deep water. They're actually going to go straight for the fight. Everybody flooding in towards the ramp room, and it is just going to be a massacre. It is just going to be one-way traffic. Unfortunately, they're driving on the opposite side of the road for the French. It's a head-on collision. It's only going one way. Team Spirit, round number four. Clean as well. Five players surviving. That's a nice boost to the economy. You can see already that you've got Chopper, Mere, five or so thousand dollars for each of them. 
not too bad for the rest of the team either. They've got they've got enough for the rebuy, at least. They've got that in the back pocket. So for Vitality, you know, at least you're going to have to win two rounds in a row to try and break that Spirit economy. Maybe even a third if, if Spirit are able to save some guns and, and get a couple of bomb plants. But two at a minimum. And we'll see if they can get the first tier. It's not the perfect by Kyojin. Still only has a fat mass. There's no AWP in play either. I think if Vitality win this one, they'll probably be looking to invest into that if they can. But Kyojin makes an early mark and he's looking for more. But Mir saves his teammate's life with the Mac 10 in towards the site. And they're still finding shots, Team Spirit. These SMGs are doing good work holding the flank as well as Dexter. As it's going to be up to Zaiwu and Apex to try and get back into this site. But they're going to get locked off. The utility is strong for this Russian side but Zaiwu's found a gap and he exploits it beautifully two quick kills that's his beautiful well an opening that's gonna be promising for the vitality side and apex will follow up onto it as well knows his teammates baited for him in knows he can just slide on in and catches the play looking the other way so they do collect the second round they do get the first out of the two they need to deny this team spirit side economy but obviously that bomb plant the extra bit of cash the extra 800 dollars per player is going to invest more into that team spirit side so you do need to be mindful of that but good start for team vitality with the guns well i'd more to the point say good start for zywu with the guns because that round would not have yeah. been even remotely plausible without him just taking matters into his own hands Sliding through the main entrance, grabbing two on the periphery of, I, I'm going to say, a slightly misthrown smoke. Because it didn't quite cover the mouth as it wanted to. It's a little too deep inside of main entrance. Now Zaiwu is going to change up his position and take Stead over towards Secret. Unfortunately, this time around, there isn't going to be too much pressure early on. But with all these players just hanging about towards the back of outside for the time being in Yard... I think they might actually do something with this shortly. It looks like the Wall of Smokes are starting to be lined up, so it will be a secret hit. Zywu here could be in for a big old payday, Dan. Oh, for sure. If he, he can he can be on for a good couple, maybe a triple, if he plays his cards right. He's going to have teammate outside just drawing a little bit of attention with the utility as well, but they are pushing forward. Shocks in towards main. Apex has taken a lot of damage. He has to fall away. Maybe tries a few shots through the smoke, and he does good damage in kind, but it's going to be up to Zywu to find the big damage here. What about the secret stairs? Shocks to pick off one as they try and escape down there, but Zywu is in for the kill as well. Two very quick picks from Vitality, and they set themselves up now just to crunch into this round and Ensure that Team Spirit aren't going to get away back into this one. Oh dear. That's just not good. You try and peek into Zywu to finally dislodge the bomb from the position in which it's currently stuck. And instead, he dislodges you. Yeah. That's painful. Some Dai Young now left uh, wondering what he, there is really that he can do on this match. He is uh, stuck here in one versus five. It is going to be the FAMAS available for Hyojin, which he'll love to upgrade to one of these AKs that's down in secret shortly. And you can already see that they're going for a little bit of a hunt. Everybody is going to be circling around like vultures. And if Sunday Young dies after time, it is just so, so bad. Mm, $100. Mm. <laughs> very, very uh, tasty. Yeah, should have tried to, you know, just like kill himself. I don't know done. whether that's really something he could have done there in that position. You just have, I, think, I think you just have to run at the... Well, you're gonna, I always you're gonna have to differentiate for Rex. I don't know what that means. Oh, damn it. Maths. It means maths. I may have at one point knew what that meant, yeah. but not anymore. I mean, I know what it means. I just can't do it anymore. I have deleted it from my brain. Yeah. Uh, much think, in the yeah. same way as Vitality should be deleting Team Spirit from the server here. Very easy, very quick. The only problem with all of that is Dexter's snuck away for a bomb plant. That's actually massive amounts of helpful for Team Spirit's economy moving forward. Yeah, and I like that Team Spirit didn't try and go for like the force by obviously Sunday Young with that hundred dollars. Maybe could have been dropped a pistol or something alongside the, a, a, a bit of a ragtag buy. They elect to go for a not looking bold. No. I I mean, I can understand maybe not wanting to go for the AWP or Dexter, but Yard could have be a huge factor for you. If you're able to bring that orb towards the Yard, get some 
space for your team to work with. Just provide Overwatch, if nothing else, and give your team safety in, in an angle being held. Maybe you play it towards a ramp as well. There's a lot of options you can use on this T-side. Maybe they're just trying to save it and, and switch things up a little bit later on. But there isn't much later on. On this T-half, at least. Round's going to start dwindling relatively soon, especially if you can't get this round and, and get a get a full by in the next one. Vitality got the utility now just to lock off these angles early on. You can see Team Spirit have to just concede that. Have to respect these smokes and another one goes down towards the, uh, the squeaky door. So they're just going to sit behind it still. Not really making any money moves right now, George. And maybe... Maybe that's going to work out for them. You never know. Obviously, no. every smoke that Vitality deploy is one less they'll have on a retake, on an execute. So if you just chill and let uh, Vitality use up their utility, you might be on okay. for a nice end of round. Shocks, that was bold and brave. And I'm not talking bold like my hair. I'm talking courageous. Doesn't pan out for him, though. And this a site crumbles off the back of it. Just the Apex remaining, hoping that he can get something from this round, but bomb planted opposite side of the silos. This is going to need a Herculean effort from Apex. The yeah, IGL. Six and five right now. Can he find a first shot? Both of them on AKs, and he's looking the wrong way. Wants to clear the back vent, but the time is just too good for Dexter. And they'll get themselves a fifth. So the timeout works. The five AKs work. Narrowly, I might add. Narrowly. Narrowly, yeah, I guess. I will say that this is a, a strange one here for uh, shocks in that round. I don't know what the objective was with jumping down into them as they were executing. Were you trying to get ahead of the smoke, maybe? Trying to get a quick drop shot? I don't know what it was, but it was peculiar anyway. And still, this I'm asked for shock. I, I don't know. This is a, one of those mm. weird buys where I personally would have probably elected to maybe do something a little bit different. I mean, Shocks has still got loads of money. I don't know if he just hasn't invested or, or what the deal is with it. Even still. I, I'm interested to see how Team Spirit's openings are playing out, right? So, so far, they've been very, very patient on their T-side defaults. They've been holding a lot of territory back in towards their side of the map. So, for example, playing out towards back of Yard, not really aggressing too early in the round and towards outside. And they're also keeping pretty hang back over towards lobby, which makes me think in a round or two's time, are they going to start to try and maybe throw a spanner in the works, do something quick, do something crazy? I don't know. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to potentially seeing something like that come out of Team Spirit here. Because they have been just conditioning Vitality, like repeatedly bludgeoning them with these slow-paced rounds that come down to the last 30 seconds. And now they're ready to go. Kyojin has been ready to pounce this whole time and his opportunity may still knock. As I said that, they are dropping down into the vent where who but Misuta is ready and waiting. Oh no, it's going to be a disaster. He's got the bomb. He's just holding mouse one. It's just near to try and dislodge him, but the time is so thin. It is mere now one versus three. He's managed to recover the bomb, drop some incendiary to stop any further progress down the vent. But he's not going to have time to plant. They've smoked it off. He just has to try and get kills or die. And Apex gives him that respite. Five to five. But vitality, guys. That is just so good positioning from Misuta. Just reads the play expertly. Gets down there. Sees there's patience coming in. Knows that Team Spirit are going to have to do something desperate in the last 30 seconds of the round. So just maneuvers himself into Vent as a precautionary measure. And it pays dividends. This is a very back and forth first half, and I love it, George. I really do love it. Team Spirit, we've seen them be successful with the Tech Nines already in this half. Can they do so again? Pushing into the side is an absolute catastrophe. Some die young, but not the Team Spirit side. As he gets himself a triple kill? How does that even happen? It's such a change of pace. Vitality have been expecting these slow labored rounds time after time. And this time it's just Team Spirit just hauling ass into the A site, just holding Mouse One. I think a few flashbangs came in over the top, might have assisted, but 
these are the rounds that Vitality need to be securing. You can't be letting these rounds slip. Of course, they still have this their spot in the in the playoffs secured. Team Spirit obviously still out of contention. That they're, they're they're already eliminated from Pro League, but. You gotta be winning these sorts of rounds. This is not a, a good thing to be having on your repertoire and into the playoffs vitality. No, it would be pretty uh, pretty bad actually if they end up winning 16-4 on Mirage on their map pick and then come to have a real struggle with that momentum not carrying through. I would have really thought like, yeah, let's go. That's gonna be the one. We're gonna just smash this map, clean out the air. But the point here as well is that Vitality also are on the CT side, which you know, admittedly in pro play, isn't quite so one-sided anymore. Nuke has always had a preferred side. Historically, it has always been the CT side. I mean, you should be expecting Vitality to be having an easier time of things than this. You can just see by the way their economy has fallen apart in this last few rounds, that they're going to be stuck here. Deagle out for Shocks, 5-7 out for Kyojin. A distinct lack of utility as well from the rest of the players on Vitality. So they're going to have to use these weapons that they've got in the hands of Masuta, Zaiwu, and Apex to force the issue. It's their prerogative now to take the fight to Team Spirit, who are doing something a little bit different. They've been conditioning Vitality with these lobby approaches at the start of every single round so far, and now they're going to do for a contact play outside, quietly edging their way up behind the wall of smokes, leaving Somdai Young to cover their backsides. It's working out for the time being. There's a player in Garage who has absolutely no idea that Team Spirit are making their way on down. That's Apex. He's about to be in for a rude awakening when Shox realizes what's coming, and he's only got a Deagle to defend it. Nice first shot from Magix. Does clean up onto Shox. Gives him that space, but Kyojin, this 5-7, can certainly get the kill into Magix. Super low HP. The 5-7 is only going to need a shot or two to secure it, but no aggressive peak. And obviously... I think Magix will have probably called to this clear decon. So they might be less prepared to hold for it. And there you go. The kill comes through. He can't double up, though, onto Deg. So the Tech 9 is a little bit too strong with that HP. And now Team Spirit in a free on free. Just got the guns to try and dislodge now. So they're going to head back up towards this A side. Oh, 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 no oh. way! Get out of Just here! Annihilated him. Just... Completely obliterated there. He wanted to go for the spray. It looked like it was going to work out. Puts Dexter low, but not low enough. And Team Spirit might be on for a seventh here. And it's up to Masuta and Zaiwu, but a nice first shot from the Orpa. Dexter replies back in kind, leaving Zaiwu alone. And that scope obviously will have been heard. He knows towards lobby. Just which angle did he push from? It's going to be squeaky. Oh, 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 the no scope. He spots out the second player as well in the sight. Could still win this one. He tries to go for the wallbang through the sight. Doesn't like no. it. But the no scope. Zai Wu. A one versus two. And he keeps a team spirit within arm's reach. Ties up this game. And what a moment for him to come alive, 13 and 6. He's not had the biggest of impacts so far in this series, but that's a beautiful round from him. Double no scope! Doesn't need what? it! <laughs> what? What? I, uh, yeah. I have lost for words, Zywu. Th there is obviously some part of that which comes down to knowing that he can do it, the audacity to do it, the playmaking, but come on! How much luck is involved in that? Like, holy smokes. That is something else. Zaiwu and Vitality surely feeling themselves now after that mammoth play. Shox is even going back to the XM. He's going to try and make up for his past transgressions. This is the one for him. Maybe Team Spirit now. They've got to slow the pace of things down, but they're going in quickly. A minute oh, 30 still left on the clock. This is the fastest they've got into a site, and the shotgun is once again ineffective. It has taken down three people this time with Magic's breaking his way on in. Misuta and Apex are left to Scarpa. That is a way to respond from Team Spirit. That is a much-needed response as well, because if you let a round like that from Zyru spiral out of control, stunt your momentum, just get you downtrodden and beaten up, you're going to be in for a bad, bad time. But you've come back. You've just not let it phase you. You've come in with a quick one. You've broken them. You've got them down. Seventh round for Team Spirit. And you got to say as well, Team Spirit going for those like early timeouts. They've already extended three of them. Only one left to play with in this, um, in this regulation for the Team Spirit side. 
I mean, it's been effective so far, I think, in, in getting T-Spirit into this position where you now have seven on this T-side. That's a solid T-side half. You can go into that CT side with no more rounds here and, and still be in with a real shot on this map. And a lot of it's in part from the Tech Nines as well. You gotta say, like, what's that now? Two rounds with the Tech Nines coming up with victories? If I'm if I'm correct. Yeah. It's it's getting a bit ridiculous mm. now that Team Spirit can keep digging themselves out of these holes in such a way. Vitality are playing pretty well, but they just seem to keep blundering to these less than optimal buys from Team Spirit. Needs to stop, needs to get their act together. To pull their socks off. And it's a, a bit of a mismatch buy as well here for the Vitality side. A single Deagle for Kyojin. Four M4s, the first of which Apex does claim a kill. Nice aggression towards the yard, just stunting what Team Spirit can throw at them. And now this aggression towards the ramp room is just going to get butchered by Masuta. He goes for two, almost a third. The Dink onto Chopper, not quite the frag, but Zaiwu should be able to clean it all up. And it's tidy for Vitality. Tying it up once again. Seven to seven, final round of the half. Team Spirit have money to play with. There's going to be Magic Samir a little bit downtrodden, though, with the cash. They'll be left on maybe SMGs, maybe a Galil, if they want to um, leave out a bit of the utility. Well, final round of the half. I wouldn't want to be leaving out as much as I could. I want to be optimizing whatever I can purchase. Team Spirit, they're certainly going for it. What do they got? It would honestly be so, so good for them if they can go into this half with a lead. The second half on the CT side, no less. The more preferred of the two sides on Nuke. If they can go into it with a lead, as unprecedented for Team Spirit against Vitality. Huge performance. Again, Already contrast kill as well. Contrast into Mirage, though, Dan. This is very different. Yeah. Team Spirit oh, have yeah. a game plan here, which is the main thing that I think was lacking for them on Mirage. On Mirage, they looked lost. They looked aimless. It didn't look like they really knew what they wanted to achieve, where they wanted to go, and if they wanted to do it together. Here on Nuke, they at least have a game plan. I mean, as well, in contrast to, to, Mar to Dust 2 as well, we have an interesting close game on our hands, George. Both of these... Finally, finally. Those two matchups have been pretty one-sided to, to say the least in those first two maps, but... Masuta has been able to answer back. Unfortunately, he's only for one as he gets traded in return. And now Sundai Young just press it in towards the site. They're clearing it out man by man. And it's only Zaiwu remaining. You fancy another clutch? He's going to go for it. Final round of the half. This needs to try and find the first pick. And there's a tag. Could have been the kill. So it's a bit more HP. Got the two for one. And you almost think he's... Meanwhile, previously, we've had 16 to 4 for Vitality on their map pick of Mirage and 16 to 9 for Team Spirit on their map pick of Dust 2. But we're cracking on into it. Team Spirit did an unlikely victory on the T side of Nuke to give themselves the upper hand going into the second half. Vitality on the back foot. They've got to press forward. Zaiwu is activated finally, and he's already found a frag. You're right, George. He's been activated. Some real heavy hitting round from him. And now Vitality's team to be on a resurgence. A very, very aggressive pistol round coming through as well, just straight off the back of that last half sort of excitement. And Dexter, the only sole survivor right now for this Russian side. One versus five, a few players are low, but um, I'm not sure he'll be fancy this chance in this one. Maybe just saving the armor for the next round. It means you can probably get a, a scout with that armor. Never mind, he's dead. Yeah, no chance. No chance. He was looking a little bit inquisitive there to at least try and take something away from Vitality. But as they got the bomb plant, as they kept five players alive, they are in the best situation possible. They can buy up here. Mac-10s, Galils, if they so please. Whatever they fancy, they can go for it. Kyojin, Zaiwu, everybody, go for whatever you feel is best. Galil, AK-47. It's all being brought to the table here. Meanwhile, on the Team Spirit side of things, they're going all in, Dan. They've decided that they don't want to wait about. They don't want to mess around. They want to try and get stuck in whilst the Vitality economy is still fresh as a daisy. Yeah, scout for Dexter, as I said. If you had armor with that, it would have been nice. Mere, oh, a little bit awkward there. He does spot out the, the cheeky little leg of shocks, but can't find the damage. He goes for more, and instead will pay the ultimate price. He's dead. 
That is, I think, the ultimate price you can pay. Oh dear, bit of a mismatch there inside a lobby. Players starting to get confused as to who they need to be shooting at. In the end, it is Vitality who comes out on top of all of the chaos. And meaning that Dexter now has to rendezvous with Chopper. He's going to find one head, but a second is absolutely essential. Not a chance. Zaiwu and Masuta dispatch of them both instantaneously. Vitality find themselves nine. I wouldn't say it's exactly comfortable to get there. They do lose the Galil in the process, but it's still a ninth round regardless, and they should now be up against the full eco. Yeah, I mean, you say should, like uh, anything else would happen. They well, will play against the full eco. I've seen crazier things. I've seen French teams forced by three rounds in a row. Thankfully, yeah, Team Spirit are not French. Yeah, that is a good analysis of the Team Spirit side. Excellent. This is... Yes. Um, oh. Okay, this is a bit of Already? carnage. I mean, these they've just got super aggressive into lobby. They get a couple kills out of this. Could have potentially had more. The first player in, I'm not sure who it was. It took me a little bit by surprise there. But the first player in with a USP digged up initially and looked like he might be able to find the kill. But uh, Vitality do manage to recover the situation. Tenth on the board, double digit for them. Lead on their side. And so we're facing the Team Spirit full by, and Dexter does bring out the AWP early on here. It's something that that Team Spirit side didn't elect to go for for the most of that T half. They they were happy to run five AK 47s, and it worked out wonderfully in a lot of circumstances. You see, obviously, them picking up on the CT side, and Shocks he's just making a hail mary down towards Secret Stairs, and he's made it down. Obviously, would have been heard, and his SDY is ready for him. Uh, putting up some numbers towards the yard as well. Nice double for him. And I think with that, you're going to call the round. Yeah, I think Zywu just needs to get out of here. Maybe there's a chance that the star man, number one player in the world for the last year, two years actually, has uh, got something in the locker. Maybe. I don't know. He's already found one frag. Second, maybe just around the corner if he does elect to go up on top of the silo. Might be able to catch one player just snooping about outside. He does have just over a minute to play with, which is actually quite a lot of time. Try and negotiate his way down to the B site if he so pleases. Of course, he'll face resistance wherever he goes, but he is absolutely up to the task. Smoking off his drop in towards the main entrance of the A site. Flashing onto the corner as well. Unfortunately, he falls to Mia, who was ready and waiting. Had a slight gap to the corner of that smoke that Zywu was looking to exploit, but instead... It was exploited by Mia. It was a big no you. And that's how it got sorted <laughs> out. Uh, people still say no you? I don't think so. I, I really oh. don't. I think people just say ratio now. And that's like uh. Twitter in a nutshell. Mm. Ratio done. Don't think I've ever been ratioed. Don't care. Didn't ask. Ratio. No. Yeah, that's the one. That is <laughs> a big fat ratio for me right there. <laughs> but Vitality straight back into this one. Obviously, a couple early rounds for them, building up a bit of economy behind them. They get themselves a rebuy through. Kyojin is left with just a Gleal. That is a bit of a compromise. Not much utility for a couple of these players with a minute 30 still on the clock. But we have enough, and the four AKs around it. Definitely going to be able to provide some openings. Dexter, no sight lines towards the yard. Could just go for a timing shot. We'll see if, if he collects... Not going to shoot onto shots. Really thought that he would have done. But who needs him to shoot onto shots through the smoke when he got magic sitting inside of the main entrance, finding two quick frags, leveling the advantage in favor of Team Spirit. And then all of a sudden, two more flags come in a flurry, and it's all but over. Masuta, one versus four, wondering where the hell his teammates went. He's left bamboozled. He's cold and alone. Brian, maybe he wants someone just to hold him tight through this cold night. Vitalities, Masuta. Just, I don't know about the players here. Probably just to save away, right? I mean, you're not going to have a buy in the next round regardless. Maybe you try and get the bomb and get a bomb plant with it. There is a chance for that, of course, but it is going to be watched like a hawk from outside. Yeah, Mir out towards credit. I believe that is. Although it's Dexter who picks it up from the A heaven position. So, yeah. There you go. Watch like there a hawk go. from a two, couple different angles. Yeah, they were, they were just all screwed by all manner of birds of prey there. Yeah. All over. 
hawks, vultures, is that, eagles. Is that, is, that another, is that another film reference? No, 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 absolutely yeah, not. The Harlequin one, Birds of Prey? No, but now I wish I'd have thought of that. Well. I seem to have right. made a grave error. Yeah, yeah, you could have had it all in the palm of your hand. I could have had it. I could have had it. You squandered it. Bit like, squandered the chance. A bit like Vitality in the last few rounds. They could have had it, but they squandered it. What's the point? Team Spirit just came to play a little bit quicker. I don't know about you, Dan, but I'm feeling this now from Team Spirit. Their CT side is starting to get a little more comfortable. You can see money starting to stack up on a few players. Dexter also starting to hit some shots. He has been a little bit absent, admittedly, over the course of this best of three with the AWP. Hasn't really been picking up the big multi frags that we're used to seeing from him. This time around, just outside a couple of rounds ago, he's starting to get started a little bit. Already up to 16 frags, so feeling good. B ramp is starting to become a little bit overwhelmed here. The CT is having to give away some territory. Oh, look at Zai Wu on the map. He's been able to pick off Dexter. That is a huge find. They left it outside so exposed, and Zai Wu just shift walked his way. Now that's an AWP for him, and he's looking to try and find some more damage. Does get a tag on Tamir, but not the kill through the edge of that very, very thick boy of a oh. shipping container. Chopper does well to mitigate that issue, though. Removes Zai Wu and his heady and his head. Just completely removed from the body. Now it should all come falling into place for the Team Spirit side, despite a couple of kills found and a little bit of worry from them. Bone planted is obviously a very nice bonus, and they're going to try and catch Mazuta into the site, knowing he's alone, and they will do exactly that, and they should just be able to lock this one down now. Stick that a fuse. Maddox is even going to punish shots as well for even trying to stop them. As Team Spirit back into the lead in the second half. It's going well. It's going very, very well. Be interested to see how many rounds in a row it's started to be now for Spirit. I haven't been keeping count. Maybe you have. Starting to get into it. Starting to warm up. They've dipped their toes in the pool. Felt it was a little bit too cold earlier on, Dan. And now they've, yeah. they've fully submerged themselves. They've gone sod it. We're just going to jump on in. They are acclimatizing nicely. I gotta say, I don't condone jumping into freezing cold pools. That's uh, not an opinion that I want to express to you guys. No. Even still, no, it's dangerous, man. It's dangerous. Yeah. Hypothermia and all that jazz. <laughs> Just one of the many issues. But hypothermia, the least of these players' issues right now. That nade could do damage, it lands short, so uh, non-collected, and with the smoke beginning to fade, all of these Vitality members who wanted to get down the stairs have done. But you can see Magix is in position over by the double doors, he'll give himself that escape route. Surprised he doesn't open the door the other way, maybe, I know a lot of people do that, but... This boost up from Zaiwu, not able to collect initially, and Magix obviously going to be wary of that one now, and not going to try and re-peek it, they're instead just going to force forward with the space that that Garner Chopper from Decon backs away. These Team C Spirit players playing this one very carefully. They don't want to give up that man advantage early on, George. Nope, not at all. The man advantage here in such a late portion of the round as well, inevitably will just unfold this round into chaos. As soon as one frag comes in, the rest of them will. They've all got into positions where they can comfortably trade frag one another, but they weren't accounting for magics to go two for one. That's huge to start things out. And now Chopper forced to back away to a more submissive position where he's not going to get his head totally reamed. He has just been spotted by Apex, though. I don't know whether he realizes it. Out comes the swing, but Chopper's still good for the first frag onto Shucks. Now going to try and find two more out of it, but his teammates have finally arrived in to bail him out. What do Kyojin and Apex do? Well, they just run right back up the fence. They're not going to realize it's going to be players here over at A, though. In goes SDY, sacrificing Mir for the round. It's a 12 for Team Spirit. Oh, mama. Nice hold down towards that double door from Magix. And it was exactly as I said, they didn't want to give up that early advantage. They knew they could just back away, fall deeper into the site. And they did exactly that. A nice little angle from, from Magix there. Zaiwu wasn't looking his way. The second player slides in, gives him a, a nice little two-for-one spray down. And from there, Team Spirit able to, to capitalize and secure a 12th and force Vitality back onto this minimal buy. You got a few deagles through. Let's see what you can do. We saw Team Spirit on that first half. The Tech 9, super effective, just launching themselves in towards that A side. It was likely Olympic pole vault for them. Just straight on in. Deep in their way into the competition. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. I do like a good yoink, Dan. A yoink or a yeet? Yeah, I mean, given the choice, I think I'd go for a yeet over a yoink. 
Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I quite like a yoink, yoink. A yoink. A yoink feels like you're taken from someone. I like that. Feeling. And I don't like doing that. I like uh, that feeling, taken away from people. A nice guy. Yeah, you are. But so you just throw it at them instead. Yeah, aggressively. I eat it, yeah. Yeah, aggressively. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Dan. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could eat like a T-shirt into the crowd. For your oh fans, yeah. You know. What if I were to yoink a T-shirt away from the crowd? That that'd just be stealing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, maybe there's an opportunity for Vitality to steal around here, as Chopper has been caught between two mines. And by those two mines, I mean primarily Shocks and the rest of Vitality. He is unfortunately not able to weather the storm well enough, but Sundar Young has come in to bail him out, and it will be a oh. very comfortable spray transfer from player to player. That is 13 now for Team Spirit, a three-round buffer Vitality. Starting to feel like this is squeaky bomb time, Dan. Oh, you're bringing it in. Squeaky bum time. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I wasn't the first to use a squeaky bum time, George. It is squeaky and it's bum time. Yeah. For Vitality. They uh, they need this round now. And, I, and I'll tell you one thing as well. Team Spirit, they've had some die young step up in these last few rounds. He's been getting quite a few kills. Obviously, that one against the, the, the minimal buy, but still, managing himself well. See if you continue it now against this full buy with the five AKs hurtling out towards the yard. Well, only two of them hurtling out towards the yard. It is the five AKs on the board, though. As Vitality need to try and overcome a three round deficit, but still within arm's reach, George. And that's what matters. Dexter missing a shot, though, just giving a little bit of space towards the uh, secret stairs, and he's just going to be forced off by the flash as well. So, nice bit of moving and grooving from Vitality, but he does eventually strike, and I feel like that was oh. inevitable. That was a great shot, though, from Zaiwu. And he looked like he thought about getting that a AWP as well. He's going to stick with the AK for now. He's alone down towards that site and can't find Chopper. <laughs> Cannot find Chopper here whatsoever. Difficult situation now for Vitality to negotiate. They've got a very one-dimensional approach into this B-bomb site coming through. Ramp is, of course, going to be the primary objective. And then, subsequently, they'll try and plant the bomb, which they're now starting to get away with. Magix, though, burying himself in just on top of the sink. Should find a frag, but instead it's Masuta to just swing through the door, clothesline him clean out of here, and give Vitality a three-on-three -three that they can hopefully look to convert. The retake is on, though, with Mir looking to try and pinch on out. Chopper finding frags, Mir finding frags as well, but finally it's all being traded back and forth. Two versus two, it comes down to it. Apex hiding in shadow, and then you've got Kyojin hiding by box. And Apex's position proves pertinent first of all, it proves pertinent second of all. Finds both of them and brings Vitality back into this game, back into contention. 11 to 13. Oh, mama. Nice uh, shot Ooh, there from mama. Apex. <laughs> A good round, as you say, and it does bring them back in. But Vitality, it's not going to... You can't stop at one here. You need a few more. You need to try and break down this team spirit economy, which if you win this round and, and deny them saving too many weapons, you're more than gonna gonna be able to do that. You, you, you'll have them in that super low buy. You'll probably have yourself 13 on the board at a tie game. So we'll see what they can manage as again, five AKs. Neither of these teams really favoring the, the AWP, which is interesting, I guess. At least not on the T side, right? That yeah, on the T side. Been a theme. Sure. They don't want to be pulling that out. They want the maneuverability, the mobility of both of, or, or everyone on AKs really. Don't want to have to be kept static by one person clicking the scope. A difficult situation for Team Spirit to try and negotiate. Not so much now that Dexter's found a shot. Opens things up nicely, gets one shot, then backs away after taking a quick one through the smoke. So Vitality already down Apex. The hero of the last round not able to rescue them from this one. Instead, they're going to have to turn to another man. Maybe Zaiwu. Maybe Masuta. Yojin's been relatively quiet. Who's it going to be? This time, Shocks opening up with one. Masuta coming in with a second. Orc oh. in Heaven not able to find anything either. Zaiwu just too quick on the draw. Two versus three. Now one versus three. Masuta nails Chopper down. Some die young surely cannot consider going for this. He is out of the equation, out of the round. I think if Chopper finds that frag, probably a chance in this round. Even though the bomb wasn't planted yet, I, I feel like... Ugh. 
Three on two, you needed that kill from Chopper and doesn't get it. STY, sometimes Young just has to just has to chill now. Just has to try and hold on to Sem4. I think he should be more than capable of doing so right now. No one really trying to hunt for him. As the bomb does a ticket's way towards detonation. He might be able to find a kill here. It does take down Masuta. There you go. An extra extra frag to add to the tally, I guess. Oh, there it is, the final timeout. I was wondering when this was going to come down. The opposition always proved me wrong. I mean, I'll I'll go for it then. Should be yeah. a vitality round victory. Okay, you're, you're putting your eggs in the basket. Yeah. Hopefully they're not going to end up smashed though. That would be uh, disappointing to say the least. Maybe any, some Dai Young can do anything with this this M4, maybe. Little Easter egg hunt you're going on with all those eggs in that basket. Oh yeah, just scat them around the map. Wrong Ooh. time of the year, but right place on the map for some Dai Young. Catch your shocks, the lone M4. Snagging a frag and making it work. Now Chopper has the opportunity to get a frag of his own. Dinks down Kyojin to 14 HP, but that's not going to be enough to finish him off. Heaven now Molotov'd off, and that should be the round. The bomb gets planted, it's four on four, but the weaponry... Four team spirit just isn't there to make this feasible. They need to get a pick. They need to find one of these weapons alone and just steal it away from themselves. And already that has not gone to plan. Zaiwu taking down Mir and should have a second frag here on the back on towards Magics. Just pivoting, keeping everything locked on up. Vitality will level the scores, I'm sure, at 13. Although if team spirit could keep these two weapons, you know, that'd be nice. Another kill as well, found by Dexter there with a salvaged AK. None of his teammates are going to be able to get to that one, at least not magics anyway. It ends up two players for either side surviving. So, I mean, if you're on the vitality, if you're on the vitality side. As long as I don't get too muddled over my words, you're happy in some regards. You obviously tied this game up, but you've left a little bit of um, a little bit on the table in that round. You could have been able to build up your economy a little bit further and just make sure you have enough to keep the pressure on the team spirit side. Now, instead, you've got a few players who aren't going to be able to reinvest if you lose this. Zai, uh, sorry, Kyojin and Shocks, not really got the cash. Maybe you could get dropped over by Apex for one of them. Depends what they want to go for, but. If you kept a, an extra player or two alive, you, you, you probably would have avoided the situation. Especially when you're just against the uh, pistols and a single M4. Maybe. Very slow approach to this round so far. And just spirit. maybe. Got two here. players. Just having a, I'm two just, having players. A, just having a think, Dan. I'm having a think here. Go on. Go on. Is Shock's position going to be the undoing? of Team Spirit here, because he's all the way in behind outside. Oh, okay, never mind. Vitality are actually bailing on this. I thought the approach, the tactic would be to pinch into the ramp room and leave Shocks to just clean up the main fiasco that would then unfold, but it seems that's not the case. It seems they're actually going to double back towards A and use Shocks outside Lurk to try and penetrate in towards Heaven. That seems like the play, and in they go. The timing is right, and Kyojin's found the first. He's not been able to muster the second, but thankfully Masuta has. In comes Shocks. He's unable to catch Chopper, who just slithers away back into safety. But he does catch Dexter, trying to recover the territory that's been lost to the T side. Vitality, three on two. In comes the retake. It's decent damage inflicted from Chopper and Magic so far, but Chopper does fall. Magic's surely soon to follow. Two versus one for Shocks and Zywu to close it out. Bring 14, break Team Spirit. The huge round for Magic's the clutch. Got all the cards in his hands. He just needs to try and play them correctly. No negotiate his way out top first, but time is of the essence. He can't even win the first engagement. It's Zywu once again, the gatekeeper, finding his 30th frag of the game. What a time to come alive in this best of three. And if you look at the HP that he put Zywu so low, the second player as well, I think was about 30 HP. You have a real chance if you get that first kill onto Zaiwu with your magics there. However, I can't make it work. And instead, we do have a player disconnect from the...
to this next round. It's huge for Team Spirit, and they look like they're not electing to buy into it, Dan. They're just going to go with a light bit of utility. Yeah. Dexter going for the scout. He's going to have to do a lot here with a little. I prefer this from Team Spirit, not going all in. You know you can concede this uh, this series point here, allow Vitality to 15, and then get that full by three. You only need two in a row to force this to OT. So that's what they're aiming for. If they could pick off a few kills here, that would be nice. Obviously, save an AK maybe, even nicer. But really, it's just about building blocks for this next round, where you're going to put all your chips in, all in, and uh, hope that it comes up red. Presuming that red is what you betted on, you know? Hate for yeah. it to come up black. I don't know. I, I've not really played too much for that lately. Oh. If ever, to be honest with you. All the chads put it all on green. Do they? All the Zero. chads? Yeah. yeah. Is that like all the chads who spent their entire mortgage on Team Spirit in this game? All the betters yeah, that's, from HLTV? That's the Sigma male grind set, I think. Sigma male. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put it all on one. Your entire house, yeah. everything. Might as well. Yeah. What else? Have you, what else have I got to lose? <laughs> Team Spirit not got much to lose, in fairness. A few pistols, a scout for Dexter with no armor, and I think for the, from the way this round's shaping up, obviously Team Spirit feeling a bit of pressure in towards his B site. Dexter's already taken down. Chopper's gonna try and catch a play, and that's a nice little a bit of aggression from him with a 5-7. And meanwhile, Mir's found one as well. This could very well spiral out of control if you are Vitality, but luckily for them, they still have Zaiwu. And he takes down Shop with the sort of thorn in their backside as they want to get this bomb planted. A three man retake to come in from ramp. And they'll switch the AK into uh, some Dai Young's hands. As they try and push forward. But all these steps are uh, shocks in a very nice little angle here. He'll just mow them all down. He's brought out the lawnmower, George. Easy peasy lemon squeezy for shocks. Finds 16 out of it. Having a really, well, not 16, but 15. 16 frags is what I meant to say, just to get there with the confusion. They could be finding 16 off the back of that, though. You can see the buy is now finally there for Team Spirit. It is going to be around just a little bit too late. They are playing for overtime or bust here. Meanwhile, Team Vitality really pulling it back on their T-half here, Down, We saw a win in the T-half from Team Spirit, but this one has just been that slight edge, a teeny little bit better. Vitality still pressing on. Slow opening, slow default, just trying to break the nerves of Team Spirit for just a moment. Make them do something aggressive, like Chopper maybe pushing on through all the way through radio. Thinks better of it, goes back towards his post at the ramp, then waits for what the final, what could be the final onslaught, is about to be from Vitality. Water smokes outside, what's that going to achieve? Mir just going to keep his eyes peeled for any further pressure behind it, but that Molotov is not going to help the situation completely ousts himself from the position he wants to stand in. Now Shocks is all kinds of in from behind. Oh. Watching the spray on the first one though. No Shocks, not like this. Flashbang and smoke out to bail himself out. He had two players around him, two frags that he could easily have ascertained and he's lost them both. Now Shocks, the key man in this round. What do you do from here? They know where you are, they can account for you. You've got to rely on your team, surely. Meh, that's a good opening though. Kyojin, an even better trade, keeps this even, and you've still got shocks in that deep position towards the yard. That's still going to be something that Team Spirit are looking for, and he could have himself win the round, but no! Chopper, that is a huge, huge, humongous kill to find. Luckily for the Vitality side, they are still trading this one back. Zaiwu, a frag in the sight, puts his 32nd on the board for this map, and now Dexter wants to push oh, in, but Kyojin... Oh, he's just melted them into oblivion, and it's gonna be Zaiwu closing it down for 16 for.